Good. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna cut the corners real quick. So the first piece is square cut. Let's take that piece, square cut both sides. This doesn't actually fit here, but this is as if that one went there. We're just gonna tack that in just like that. Tack it in. And then we're gonna go cut our second piece with a cope on it. So on a cope, you cut the inside corner as if it was a miter. So I'm gonna bring it back to 45. And I'm gonna cut straight down. I'm gonna remove all the material that I can with the chop saw first. So at the top it's square and at the side it's square. So those two I can remove with the miter saw. Now the rest of this is an angle piece. So now this has to be removed with either a coping saw or the table saw. And that's what I use is I use the table saw. Just get the fence out of the way. We don't want it. We're doing this all by hand. Bring the blade up as far as it goes. There it is. And now we're just gonna remove the material. Maybe you can stand over here. You can see it a little bit better down the edge. We're gonna remove this material here off of that 45 cut that we made in it on the saw. Make sure you don't go past this front edge here or you will see it. So you want that to remain square and you want that to remain square. You just mill it back and forth. Until you got your line. with a table saw and then you take a piece of hand sandpaper to finish it off in a small block and you just sand that all the way down flush until you've completely completed your line on the 45 miter of the saw and now that is coped right where it'll work and now we take this over to the piece that we had covered before. And this piece is installed that way. This one comes in and gets coped right into it, just like that. And now it looks like a 45, and it looks nice and tight. And we nail that in. We got to might cut the miter there, but it doesn't matter. That's how you cope a corner.